Look, there's a pheasant. Fly, baby. Fly. You can do it. I believe in you. Not in the trees. Oh my gosh. Okay, here he goes. Here he goes. Got him! <laughs> Almost didn't. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're gonna be counting down my top five favorite maps in the game. Now, my opinion might not be exactly the same as yours, but we all have different tastes in the game. But I am gonna share with you why I love these maps, and I shot them too many times. <laughs> I guess my shots were better than I thought. We are also going to talk about all of the maps in the game and which are popular and which are not. But guys, let me know in the comments what you your favorite map is to play in the game and why and we are gonna head right into it so coming in in the number five spot in my top five favorite maps is here in Rancho Del Arroyo now this is really interesting because Rancho used to be at the bottom of my list of favorite maps I actually don't love the drink zone hunting in Rancho I find it very hard to see the edges around all the lakes are very jaggedy so I just don't love the drink zone hunting and I do do a lot of drink zone hunting but what I do love is the running and gunning here in Rancho and I love hunting pheasants This is the absolute best pheasant map in the game in my opinion And we now have pheasants on several maps There are pheasants in Hirschfelden, there are pheasants in Quattro, and there are pheasants here in Rancho Am I missing any? If I am, let me know in the comments But this is the kind of map where you can just literally leave an outpost and just go for a walk along the road And it is going to be loaded with animals Let's have a peek Okay, we're not even at the road and there's a rabbit very sweet and splat i absolutely love shotgun hunting and there are a lot of small game on this map we have pheasants we have antelope jackrabbits we have rio grande turkeys and if you do like to grind for the whitetail great one you can definitely do that here in rancho del arroyo and my first whitetail great one did come off of this map it took a lot of kills a lot but it did happen and that is just a level one female so i'm hunting with my labrador retriever she is perfect for picking up those class one species uh, there are more rabbits over here, but I can't even see them. So other species you will find on this map are mule deer, which are very popular species in the game. I did get a max rate diamond mule deer off this map last week, and I was pretty elated. Oh, there's a turkey. Goodbye, turkey. And splat. And just a female, but that is a lot of pellets. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. And see, look, we have some whitetail right out here. It really is fun to come out and not hunt the drink zones. Hunting feed and rest zones and just running and gunning is super fun. It might be a little more difficult to come across trophies, but I shot a melanistic whitetail while I was out here running and gunning. He just ran right past me. <laughs> so it definitely is possible. And since we're here, we'll take this whitetail. And splat! Oh, and that is a pronghorn. Look at that. Oh, it's another whitetail. Never mind. And he is a gold. 196. Not too bad. But species you will find here while hunting in Rancho include obviously antelope jackrabbits and ringneck pheasants, but also Rio Grande turkeys, coyotes, Mexican bobcat, pronghorn, collared peccary, whitetail, bighorn, and mule deer. And I think that Rancho is one of the best mule deer maps that there is. This is actually me getting a diamond and mule deer in Rancho last week. He was max weight and I also managed to come away with an albino Rio Grande turkey. So I had a pretty great hunt. There they are, there they are, there they are. How are you doing? And splat. Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, there it is. There it is, fly baby. There they go. Got him. Got her. And here is that pheasant. And that is a not bad one. We do have a gold. Very, very sweet. But running and gunning in Rancho is why I have this map at number five. Coming in at number four of my top five favorite maps in the game is Medved Taiga. Now, I have always loved hunting in Medved. Medved is one of those really unique maps. It's got a lot of unique species on it. Reindeer you will not find on any other map. You will find caribou that are almost the same in Yukon, but it also is an amazing map for grinding for cash. You come out here to the big lake between four and eight, you're gonna have reindeer, you're gonna have Eurasian lynx, and you're gonna have brown bears all 
drinking at the same time. Some people don't like the white and I do understand that it can be hard on your eyes, but it really doesn't bother me. I find it really, really beautiful and serene. I do love all the species on this map. Reindeer are one of my favorite species. When I was on Xbox, I actually used to collect diamond reindeer, but they used to be way easier diamonds back then. They didn't troll near as much, but my absolute favorite thing to hunt on this map is moose. And moose are my absolute favorite species in the entire game. I just love moose. Look, see, there's a lynx back there. I did just change the time, but the animals are starting to come in and you just wait a little while and this lake is gonna be loaded with animals. Oh, and I am spooking them, but there is another huge herd of reindeer. And then over here, we do have our first brown bear and more reindeer. So there are piles and piles of animals on the big lake, depending on what time you hit here. So it can be a really great way to run and gun and make a big pile of cash. Okay, so I changed the time and it is now moose drink time. Now I have been doing my moose grind in Medved because I do love this map so much, but I love this map before there were moose great ones in the game. But since they have added moose great ones to the game, it's been so amazing to see Medved actually get some love. So, so far I have taken six moose great ones off this map and just yesterday I spawned my very first super rare in over three years. It's crazy, but I have loved grinding moose here. It has been so much fun. Let me show you my absolute favorite trophy in the entire game of playing for seven years, almost seven years. Okay, wait for it. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now this is going to be my favorite map forever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But that is one crazy trophy and I still can't believe it. I can't believe it. But I have shot thousands and thousands and thousands of moose off of Medved and I do finally, finally have a super rare. No way that guy's gonna troll. But moose grinding is not the easiest grind to do. Moose do take a long time to die and you do have to do a lot of tracking when you don't get a heart shot and you can't always get a heart shot. It's, it's just so crazy. But the species you will find here in Medved include Western Caper Cali and Grey Wolves, which were actually recently added as a backfield species. We also have Siberian Musk Deer, Eurasian Lynx, Wild Boar, Reindeer, Brown Bears, and Moose. So that is a very sweet lineup. <laughs> and my eyes just keep going back to him. What? But guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but somewhere in the video, I am gonna share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to be featured in a video. We select one person a month, and if you are on console, then it would be a voice chat also included in a video. Good luck to everyone. Drop the key phrase in the comments to win, and let's continue. And guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, please go ahead and splat that like button. That would be amazing. So this is my moose and bear lodge, and so far I have taken six moose gray ones off of Medved. I am actually getting ready to do a latent moose grind just to change up the scenery, but this is my absolute favorite great one out of all 26 of them. Isn't he insane? And then this guy also spawned on my grind at about 7,000 kills. He's nine points under diamond, and up until I spawned that super rare, this was my favorite rare in the entire game. So I have had a ball hunting in Medved. It's just a really, really fun map to hunt on, and Lynx are a lot of fun to hunt as well. Coming in at number three on our list of top five best maps in Call of the Wild is Revontuli Coast. Now look at this map. It is beautiful. This map has the most species of any map in the game. There are 19 species on this map alone. This is basically your bird hunter's paradise. There are 14 class one species on this map, making it the perfect map to hunt with your Labrador Retriever. You can also grind for a great one moose or a great one white tail on this map and as you can see I have been grinding white tail here for quite a while. I have actually pulled six white tail great ones off of Revon Tule Coast. Now what I love about this map as far as the white tail or moose great one grind goes is that the lakes aren't too big. They have clearly defined edges unlike Leighton Lakes so it is a lot easier to find and maintain your zones. There isn't an insane amount of white tail zones on this map compared to say New England mountains. This guy's being difficult. That's right, turn, turn, turn. Oh, that might be good. I'll try it. Take that, and my mouse hit the keyboard. Ugh. I gotta turn the light off. 
and I think we splattered him. We did. But I have spent countless hours grinding whitetail on this map. I also love to hunt ducks and geese and waterfowl on this map. And we actually got a double lung heart shot on that second shot. Look at that shot. Very, very sweet. But if you can believe it, there are only five species of animal on Revontuli Coast that are not a class one species. And another sweet whitetail. Beautiful. So that would be brown bear, whitetail, raccoon dogs, Eurasian lynx, and moose. Now, when you come down to this island in the bottom right corner, every species of duck can be hunted on this island and you will not find any other species in this area at all. So you can literally set up multiple different species of different decoys and hunt lots of different ducks all at the same time. Let's actually go down here. I'm set up for gray leg goose and shoot a few geese. Now, I actually just looked up Revontuli Coast online, and here are these species that are class one in Revontuli. We have Western, Caper Kaylee, Black Grouse, Willow Ptarmigan, Golden Eyed Duck, Tufted Duck, Hazel Grouse, Eurasian Teal, Eurasian Widgeon, Rock Ptarmigan, Mallard, Gray Leg Goose, Tundra Bean Goose, Canadian Goose, and Mountain Hare. And then when you add Lynx, Whitetail, Brown Bear, Moose, and Raccoon Dog, that gives you the 19 species that are on this map. So this map actually did not come with a weapon, like a lot of maps do. It actually came with a water layout blind, which is very, very cool. Unfortunately, I don't think I have one at this setup, but this map is absolutely the best map to level up your shotgun score to unlock the shotgun scope and just to have a lot of amazing fun shooting class one species. <laughs> I can't get up. Let me up. Oh my gosh. Now I've never actually done a moose grind here in Revontuli. And the reason for that is simply because my whitetail grind here has been so good that I haven't wanted to pull it down to set up for moose and I have been very happy grinding moose in Medved so far but the people who have done a moose grind here in Revontuli absolutely love doing the moose grind on this map it's just not too thick here a lot of maps are really really thick some people love that but a lot of players don't especially new players it just makes it tough to hunt when you can barely see animals for foliage and lots of vegetation and look at this we have some mallards coming in Oh, that's a piebald. And splat! Got him. Ah, I needed another shot there, but we did all right. We'll get the dog on that. But yeah, waterfowl hunting is super fun. And now with the Labrador Retriever, it is nice and fast. You don't have to pick up your own kills anymore. The dog will bring them to you. And that was a piebald. They're not rare, but they are beautiful. So that is why I love hunting in Revontuli Coast. Coming in at number two on our list of top five best maps in Call of the Wild is Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, Silver Ridge Peaks is a very popular map and it has been since the day it came out. Rocky Mountain Elk can only be hunted on this map, but the species lineup in Silver Ridge Peaks is pretty amazing. On this map, you can hunt for Merriam Turkey, Pronghorn, Mountain Goats, Bighorn Sheep, Mountain Lions, Muleys, Black Bears, Rocky Mountain Elk, and Plains Bison. Now, the only thing I don't love is the insane prevalence of mountain lions always hearing them growling and slurping and them spooking off our animals. That is a little bit annoying. But aside from that, this is an absolutely incredible map. There's always lots of animals to shoot. It's great for new players. It's bright and sunny most of the time. You're in the mountains, so it's absolutely beautiful. It's just a really amazing map to hunt. And I have pulled two black bear great ones off of this map so far. But but I had this opinion of Silver Ridge Peaks long before Black Bear Great Ones were a thing. All right, let's take some of these big boy elk out and see if we can replace them with some bigger respawns. Not dropping. Got him! Ah, need more bullets. But we did pretty darn good there. Lots of bodies. Oh, hello. You really should leave, my dude. Bad to stand around. Bad for your health. <laughs> Now, with the last update, this map got even better. And there goes a floater. I'm gonna fix that. Just change the time forward by one minute and your floater should end up on the shore. And there it is. And how it improved is Black Bears got a new drink time. They used to drink from 20 to zero in the dark and they now drink from four to 8 a.m. That is way better. And that's a, not a bad Rocky Mountain Elk. 
403. Very sweet. I personally would love to see a Great One Rocky Mountain Elk in the near future. I can't even imagine what a Great One Rocky Mountain Elk would look like with its insane antlers. But guys, let me know in the comments, what is the one Great One you would love to see added to the map more than any other species? I would love to know. Now there is one change that they could make to Silver Ridge Peaks that would make it even better. And that would be bringing back the mountain goat drink time. Mountain goats no longer have a drink time. So you have to hunt them in their feed and rest times. And most of the players would much prefer to be able to hunt them in their drink time. I actually don't think I've shot a diamond mountain goat since they lost their drink time. They could also scale a little bit back on the mountain lions. They're a little bit overkill if you ask me. <laughs> They're kind of everywhere. But look at this scenery, guys. Look how beautiful this map is. It's beautiful. And it is definitely one of the first maps that I tell new players to purchase because it is just such a good map. It's just so much fun to play. It's really easy to level up because there's animals everywhere on this map. They're not hard to find at all. I just always have a really amazing time when I am hunting in Silver Ridge Peaks. Coming in at number one on our list of top five best maps maps in Call of the Wild is Emerald Coast. Now, this is my absolute favorite map. When EW put this map out, they absolutely outdid themselves. You can actually hunt for kangaroos in Emerald Coast. This map actually came with eight brand new species, which is more than we've ever had on a new map before, except for maybe Revontuli Coast. Oh, and here comes an aggressive kangaroo right now. Wait till you see this, guys. This kangaroo is going to come up and either punch me in the face or kick me. He's is definitely gonna try and get me. I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna let him just so I can show you. I'm gonna get the dog to lay down because he can spook the kangaroo. How you doing, my dude? Are you gonna chicken? I don't think you are. Come and get me. Oh, you chicken. Oh, oh, hold on. This one's not chickening. But I never, ever thought we'd ever hunt something like kangaroos in Call of the Wild. It is just so cool. I don't know. I think he's a little spooked by my dog. Here we go. Oh, he, he punched the air. You missed me. <laughs> Here, he's gonna come back and try again. That's right, bring it, baby. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Okay, well. Ah, I missed, darn it. But yeah, this map is incredible. This is the best map in the game to hunt red fox on. I'd say it's probably the best map for feral goats. Kangaroos are terrible for trolling, just terrible, but they are very, very fun to hunt. Now look at the kangaroos, they're sunbathing. That is so awesome. We have to shoot one, let's shoot one. Now the other thing that is really amazing about Emerald Coast is that it is the absolute hands down best map to grind for cash. And I will show you that in just a second. I don't know if I have a good angle for any of these. Pretty terrible, they have very tiny lungs. I'm gonna try this guy. Did I get him? I splattered him. He went splat. Yes. Oops. I think I just shot him with the Arzina. <laughs> Guess I'm not gonna get full score. That's okay. But there are definitely challenges to hunting this map. It is very, very hilly, but there are also areas where there are no trees and it is wide open. And we did get a vital. And there is our sun bathing kangaroo. Very cool. And I did get a vital shot on the second shot. Ooh, just got him before he took off. Very sweet. Okay, so if you are looking to make cash really, really fast, what you wanna do is put a tent right at the bottom. I mean, you can run up from the outpost if you don't want to spend the money on a tent, but you want to run the entire coast, the east coast, and I would recommend setting the time to after 1700. Now the reason you want to do that, I'll set it to 1740, and we're going to start to run the coast. I don't think I need my dog for this. Let's put him away. When you do hit the coast here, you will find all kinds of crocs out here most of the time, but when you set the time to after 1700, then you will eventually have Bantang and Red Fox drink on the coast with the crocs. Now the crocs can definitely spook them, but that is the time you want to hit to find the most amount of animals out here. And basically you just want to shoot all of them. But crocs are going to pay you amazingly well. You can blow their zones to kingdom come and they will just come right back. So you don't have to worry about that. And you're just going to find croc after croc after croc. And they can pay you as much as $1,600 a croc for a male with a vital shot. And I do love going for neck shots. And we got one, beautiful. Now Crocs can definitely go aggressive and come after you. 
found another next shot. Let's go. It's too much fun. Now, if you don't get a next shot and you do hit along, they will go swimming. But once they do kick the bucket, they will float to where you were when you took the shot. That is time consuming, but at least it will float to you. It used to be that they would go deep sea diving and you would lose your animals. So you can't lose them anymore. That actually wasn't a next shot. It did drop them because I got thoracic, but I also got left lung. So we got full score on that level seven. Paid us $1,354 and that will just go up from there. And of course, while you're grinding for cash, you can also be looking for nine legendary diamonds. And there are a lot of rares for crocs. There is albino, leucistic, melanistic, two variations of piebald and light brown. That's a lot of rares. So I actually got a skull shot there, upper neck and skull, not bad. And that's another level seven. And again, $1,365. But can you believe on this map alone, you can hunt six different species of deer, six. And there is some Bantang. All right, let's go visit the Bantang. I'm sure they're getting ready to come out here and drink, but we'll go visit them. Oh, they're closer than I thought. Now Bantang will also pay you really, really well. And you can actually just chase after them and keep shooting. They're not very fast moving and you can usually take out the entire herd. But this level five croc looks like he needs a bullet. I don't know about that angle, but I will try. Oh, got him. Let's go. So there's a Bantang right there. There's some more down in the field. How you doing? And this is the Arzina 300 and it is just perfect for hunting crocs and Bantang. And that was a beautiful shot. Get him! And we just leave all kinds of purple everywhere we go. Sign of a job well done. Now the six deer species that you will find here in Emerald Coast include fallow deer, red deer, axis deer, hog deer, javan rusa deer, and sambar deer. And there is a female bantang and just a female will pay us close to $1,100. That's pretty great. There definitely is something for everyone on this map. If you love to hunt ducks and geese, you can put down decoys. I'm gonna say, where's my decoys? There they are. And you can hunt for magpie geese. And I actually got a melanistic the other day. Oh, there's a level four. Where's my 22? I want him. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah, they love to twist and turn and make it difficult. It's not easy. Oh, there he is. I don't, oh, I got him! <laughs> I hit it! I can't believe I hit it. Now start to drop. Okay, I just gotta keep eyes on him so that I can find him once he does die. Now, funny enough, when I mark the green circle on the map, it, it will show where I last spotted him in the air. And there he goes. And splat! Oh, you did a big bounce. So that is where we last spotted him. That's where we're gonna go and hope that we find his body. So there we have a Rusa deer right over there. There's a level four, but I just have an absolute blast every time I come to hunt in Emerald Coast. I just love this map. And if this is any indicator of the future, I am very excited for the next new map. Guys, let me know in the comments what you want that map to be. And that should be coming up very soon. I found him! Let's go! Here is our magpie, and he is a gold. 3.48, that's a big one. 3.85 is diamond, so definitely worth shooting every level four because one of these days a diamond will fall out of the sky and we made that shot from 250 meters. Pretty sweet. So those are my top five maps that I personally like the best in Call of the Wild, but I do have some honorable mentions. Okay, so here we are in Savannah, and Savannah is a really, really fun map. Also a really great map for new players. Animals are all over the place. Everybody, and I mean everybody, loves to hunt for lions. Just about every species on this map is unique to Savannah because we do not have any other African map in the game yet. Anyway, we are hoping to see an Africa 2.0 in the future. I think that would just be so incredible to be able to hunt the rest of the African species that are not on this map, like elephants and giraffes. I personally want to hunt hyenas and and African wild dogs. I think that would just be so amazing. Now there are some maps that I used to not like at all and that have really grown on me recently. New England for one. When New England came out, I really didn't like it. It is a little bit too thick, makes it very difficult to hunt, but it is absolutely visually stunning. It's even more beautiful than Hirschfelden. Okay, so I jumped over here to New England just to show you just the scenery and isn't it stunning? Now, as you can see, it is a very thick map. It is, but there are a lot of really cool species 
species on this map, and it is a really great map for hunting things like coyotes and raccoons and red fox, gray fox, the small predators. This is a great map for them. This is one map I like to take the Zarza 223 to. Now, another amazing map is Yukon Valley. Okay, so now we are here in Yukon Valley. Now, Yukon is pretty amazing for moose. It's got grizzly bears, caribou, red fox, harlequin ducks, just to name a few. But this is definitely one of the most popular maps in the game. And I really do love hunting here. I just don't have it in my top five because there are other maps I enjoy more. That's all. It's just personal preference. And we all like to hunt different things. And life would be very boring if we were all the same. It's totally okay to have different opinions. And one more honorable mention would go to T. Awaroa, which is just a really amazing map to do a great one grind for fallow or for red deer. Now, the two maps that I would put at the very bottom would be Leighton Lakes and Mississippi Acres. Now, just for me personally, Mississippi is way too thick. There are just so many maps that you can hunt whitetail on without getting attacked by alligators. Now, the alligators are very cool, but shooting crocs fulfills that need in Emerald Coast, at least for me. And Leighton, as beautiful as that map is, just feels very barren to me. I wish they would add more backfield species or just add more animals to Leighton Lakes. I would definitely hunt it more if they did. But definitely let me know in the comments what your absolute favorite map is. And if you are new to the channel, guys, splat that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to watch more, click here for the best DLCs for new players in 2024.